This is a viewboard cast button, and we can use it to quickly and easily connect our device wirelessly to any viewboard, touch or non-touch. Now it is important to note that you need the vCast receiver app installed on your ViewSonic device. Now before we can do this, we need to configure the button to be paired with the device you see behind me. To do this, first we're going to open the vCast receiver button on our panel. This is touch, so I can use touch. If you're using a non-touch panel, just use the remote. Next, we're gonna take the button and we're going to connect it to our device. When you connect the device, you're gonna get a prompt to enter the network configuration for the board. This is where you can enter any credentials, uh, security options, things like that. Now this current button is already paired with a different board. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to reopen the settings. Now you'll notice here, I already have the network settings filled out, but you'll notice something down here called the receiver IP. This actually can be found down here in the vCast receiver app by touching the tap here for first use. You'll see the IP address here, 172.23.37.41. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna type that in here to configure it or pair this board to the device. Once the pairing is complete, what we're gonna do is we're gonna unplug the adapter, the button, and then reconnect it again. You'll notice that the IP address is now displayed and it matches my board. And all I have to do is tap or press the button to instantly start sharing my screen to the view board. This button is now configured and paired with this board, meaning I can easily unplug it, plug it into another device, and with one tap, it will connect to the board. One benefit of doing this, not only is my board able to be used as a projector, but if your board is touch, you actually will receive touchback if you're using a Windows device, a Mac device, or a Chrome device. Now, when you're using Viewboard Cast, you can connect or configure up to four buttons to one board.